Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about basically whatever's on my mind. Um, I'm watching a documentary here about Norway transforming CO2 and somehow dissipating it. Let me play just a few seconds. One pipeline brings natural gas to the plant while another carries CO2 back under the sea. In this, in the gas stream coming in, about 6% of the content is CO2. And this is quite unique about this plant because we remove the CO2, we dry it and compress it, and we push it back to a separate reservoir offshore uh, for permanent storage. So 90 tons an hour, almost 800. Now we move to the Georgia Guidestones, which state that we need to get our population down way low. There are too many people on the planet. Agenda 2030, another population um, decrease. They want less people on the, on the earth. We're creating too much carbon dioxide. We're breathing out too much carbon dioxide. We're using too much with our fossil fuels. Well, if you remember many years ago, there was another solution. We have watched so many forests destroyed by fire. We have been for years concerned about the rainforest um, being cut down and bulldozed over for farming and how we're losing our um, oxygen supply and our air filters, so to speak, because that's what the trees do for us. They filter our air, they produce oxygen for us to breathe, and most importantly, they need carbon dioxide to live. So, why not a simpler solution, folks? Why not, instead of killing people and depopulating our planet, why not plant a tree for every human born? With every birth certificate, a new tree is planted. Cities, there are a, a myriad of places to plant trees. Roof, rooftop gardens. Um, there can be trees everywhere. We don't need to get rid of people. We need to have more trees to use the carbon dioxide. I, I don't know, you know, how you all feel about all of this uh, climate change and depopulation and agendas in the world, but there are so many simpler solutions. Look how beautiful that is. We can change the world with beauty and not with genocide. And that gets my vote every time.